Welcome everybody to this demo of my package called Level Factories Reloaded. What this package does, it lets you create class-based factories, which you can use instead of the ones given by Level. So if you have this package installed, you have access to a new artisan command called Make Factory Reloaded. And this will check your models. And here in this application, I have one user model and I can now create a new factory for this user instance. And as you can see, we have now a new user factory inside our test factories folder. Now in this test here, you can see how we were using factories before with the factory helper of level. But now you can do something pretty similar with our new factory. And we just call the user factory that we have created. Then we call the new method. And then here we have the same methods that you used to already to create a new user or you want to make a new user which is not persisted to the database. Or let's say you want to have multiple users. So let's just create 10 and then we create it. So this is how you can use the same features that you already know from the default level factories. But now that we have our own class, we can do something more. So for example, on this user, there is an archive method, which we can find here with our IDE because what we get returned here from the create, um, our ID does not what this is. But now this is different with our user factory. So here, for example, when we have a new user, I can already call this archive method that is part of my user model. And this is because inside our create method, we have defined that we return a user. So this means we now get full autocomplete with our IDE when using our class-based factories. That's it for this first video. I'm going to show you a little bit more in the next one. Stay tuned.